Demon Slayer Entertainment District Arc Episode 7 title transformation just continues the hot streak that this series has truly been on. We pick up right where Episode 6 had that incredible cliffhanger where Nezuko finally got a demon marks and just goes completely ham on Daki. That fight continues and it is brutal. It is incredibly violent. Nezuko even snaps Daki's arm off just with a foot and just continues to beat her senseless. She is just absolutely destroying this demon. And during this fight, there's a lot of humans around, one of which is bleeding. Now, Nezuko almost succumbs to her bloodlust and Tanjiro has to stop her. Jumps on her back, puts his sword in her mouth just to prevent her from eating these people. Surprisingly though, Daki's still alive after taking an absolute beating from Nezuko and when she's about to destroy the building with a lot of these humans in, and Tanjiro and Nezuko as well, here's where we get Tengen Uzui comes in and beheads her. However, unlike most other demons, Daki's body doesn't seem to disintegrate, and she starts having this tantrum and calling out to her brother, saying that she's being bullied by everyone, and here is where we get the ultimate moment, the big reveal of the true villain of this arc, the real Upper Six, Gyutaro. As Daki has this tantrum, he emerges from her body in one of the most gruesome and just all around disgusting scenes in the entire show and Gyutaro in general is just a very disgusting looking character. He seems to have extreme anorexia, he's unable to gain any weight and I think the voice actor for him does a fantastic job at just making him feel very unique as compared to any other character we've got in this show. The voice is just bizarre but it works incredibly well for this really weird and disgusting looking character. Tanjiro manages to snap Nezuko out of her bloodlust by singing a lullaby that their mother sang to her and here's where we get an incredibly emotional flashback scene of Nezuko talking to their mother and just talking about when Tanjiro was in the womb and the reason why he has red eyes is because she ate red berries. It's a really touching and just all around nice scene and Nezuko just like completely breaks down into tears even when she's a demon and she transforms back to a normal demon form where she hasn't got the marks anymore and she's not got a horn either. And the episode ends off by setting up this incredible fight that is obviously going to go down between Tengen and Gyotaro. Now last episode was one of the best in the show so it was going to be really hard for this episode to top it and whilst I don't think it does quite top that last episode it's still like continuing this hot streak of keeping the momentum going and just being a, an incredible show. Like if you are not watching Demon Slayer you probably should be because it's like the best ongoing thing currently. I think most people can actually agree with that. And bar a few episodes that have been a little bit more on the slow side and not a whole lot of action going down. The last like three maybe four episodes have just consistently been absolutely amazing and this episode is absolutely no exception it is really fast paced to the point that when you get to the end of it you just think is that it like it's it's gone by in a flash it's absolutely insane like how quickly these episodes are flying by and that's that's a good thing I, I do think that that is a good thing like not for the viewers necessarily but from a story and pacing point of view it shows that they are doing something right when you're never bored. The beginnings of this fight between Tengen and Gyotaro are just amazing so far. The animation is great. I love Gyotaro's powers. How he has these blood sickles that he can throw and they're spinning round but he can also like morph them slightly as well so like he can almost do whatever he wants with them. It's really cool like all the demon's powers really. Like Daki's power with like the belt and stuff has been awesome but I think the blood out of Gyotaro is going to shape up to be something really really cool watching on screen especially going up against Tengen who has quite similar weapons to him. Personally, I'm extremely excited to see how next episode goes down. We've only got four episodes left, being episode 8, 9, 10, and 11, and then no more Demon Slayer for probably like two years, which really, really sucks. I'd really appreciate it though if you could leave a like on this video. Also consider subscribing if you're a fan of anime and Japanese gaming. Cover all that kind of stuff on the channel, and I do cover Demon Slayer Entertainment District Art week to week. As I said, we've got four more weeks left to go of this series, so make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know exactly when the videos go up. Also head on down to the comment section below, let me know your thoughts on this episode, do you think it is the best of the series so far, do you think it's better than the last episode, and do you think it is continuing that hot streak, and what are your thoughts on Gyotaro so far? But as always thank you so much for tuning into MChat today and I'll see you all in the next video.